ஹலோ சில்ட்ரன் வெல்கம் பேக் ஓப் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஆர் சேஃப் அண்ட் ஹெல்த்தி ஓகே டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டார்ட் அ தேர்ம் த்ரீ கிளாஸ் லெட் ஸ்டார்ட் த கிளாஸ் வித் ஸ்மால் ப்ரேயர் க்ளோஸ் யர் ஐஸ் டியர் காட் ப்ளஸ்ஸஸ் இன் அவர் ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸ் டுடே ஹெல்பர்ஸ் டு க்ரோ இன் லவ் அண்ட் கைண்ட்னஸ் மோர் லைக் யூ எவ்ரி டே ஆமென் ஓகே சில்ட்ரன் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டார்ட் வித் அ term 3 class max unit 1 geometry today we are going to see unit 1 geometry okay so so today we are going to see about perimeter and area perimeter and area in that today we are going to see only about perimeter what is perimeter and how to calculate the perimeter so first what is perimeter the sum of the length of all the sides of a closed area is called its perimeter so we are going to find the sum of length of all the sides of a closed area is called perimeter okay so perimeter is used in framing a photo for fencing a vacant land etc okay so i'll tell you an example so that you can able to understand it more okay so consider this is a house okay this is a house okay i am going to fence the house surrounding area of the house i am going to fence it fence means what in tamil veli இந்த வீட்டை சுற்றி ஒரு காம்பவுண்ட் மாதிரி வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஃப்ரேம் ஓகே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஃபென்ஸ் த ஹவுஸ் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த ஏரியா ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு ஃபென்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஃபைவ் சென்டிமீட்டர் திஸ் சைட் இஸ் ஃபைவ் சென்டிமீட்டர் திஸ் இஸ் ஃபைவ் சென்டிமீட்டர் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஃபைவ் சென்டிமீட்டர் ஸோ மை கொஸ்டின் இஸ் ஹவு மச் அமௌண்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபென்ஸ் or wire i need to i need to buy in order to fence this house evlo meter wire na vaangano in the veeta sutti na fence pandrathukku okay so that is how that is the perimeter that is the perimeter so how i am going to find this i am going to add all the sides so this is 5 cm this is 5 cm this is 5 cm this is 5 cm i am going to add all the sides length of all the sides so what is the answer 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 5 plus 5 10 10 plus 5 15 15 plus 5 20 cm so i need to buy 20 cm of wire in order to fence the compound of this house so this is called the perimeter the 20 cm is called the perimeter okay so this is called the perimeter okay so suppose consider this is a rectangle this is a rectangle and you all know for rectangle opposite sides are equal for rectangle opposite sides are equal so this two sides have same measurement and this two sides will have same measurement suppose this is 6 cm means this is also 6 cm okay and this is 5 cm means this side also 5 cm okay i i want to find the perimeter i want to find the perimeter what is the perimeter of this shape this is a closed figure it is a closed figure it is not an opened figure it is a closed figure all four sides are closed okay so i want to find the perimeter of this closed figure okay so what i am going to do to find the perimeter what i am going to do i am going to add the sides i am going to add all the sides so for finding the perimeter what i am going to do so this is 6 cm this is 6 cm 5 cm 5 cm i am going to add all the four sides so 6 plus 6 plus 5 plus 5 so this is how i am going to add so 6 plus 6 12 5 plus 5 10 12 plus 
uh, 10 it is 22 centimeter so this is the perimeter of this closed figure this is 22 centimeter as the perimeter of this closed figure okay so we shall see one more example to find how to find the perimeter suppose consider i am drawing this picture yes this is a picture this is a closed figure this is a closed figure what is this it is the closed figure all sides are closed nothing is open so it is a closed figure and i am going to mark the measurements now so 9 centimeter this is 3 centimeter okay this is 6 centimeter this is also 6 centimeter here this is 3 centimeter this is also 3 centimeter and this two sides is 4 centimeter and 4 centimeter okay so i have marked all the sides now i want to find the perimeter what is that i am going to find the perimeter so how will you find the perimeter we will add all the sides we will add all the measurements to find the perimeter so here 9 centimeter 9 plus here this is one six centimeter this is one six centimeter so two six six plus six okay then here 3 centimeter here on 3 centimeter 3 centimeter 3 centimeter so totally 3 3 centimeter 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus here 4 centimeter 4 centimeter 2 4 centimeters so if i add everything i am getting what 38 centimeter 38 centimeter okay so this is the perimeter this is the answer for the perimeter so to find the perimeter of a shape or a figure what you will do you will add all the measurements you will add all the sides and you will get the answer for the perimeter okay so this is very easy to find perimeter using this method okay so this you can do it for any shapes any shapes for any shape you can do the perimeter suppose consider this is a triangle this is a triangle so 2 centimeter 2 centimeter 2 centimeter so if i want to find the perimeter means what you will do 2 plus 2 plus 2 what is the answer 2 plus 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 plus 2 6 centimeter so if yes centimeter so i am writing centimeter if there is meter you have to write meter any other measurements you have to write that measurement okay so this is how you will find the perimeter of any closed figure so now we shall recall the definition once again so what is perimeter sum sum means add sum means add the sum of the length of all the sides we are going to add all the sides length we are going to add all the sides length and we will arrive the answer for perimeter okay so perimeter is used in framing a photo so a photo at all we want to frame one photo what you will do you will measure the perimeter of this photo and we will do the framing okay this is called perimeter now we shall learn the formula what is that formula formula for perimeter of rectangle perimeter of rectangle so we are going to learn the formula for perimeter of a rectangle okay so what is that what is that we are going to find the perimeter of a rectangle okay perimeter of rectangle suppose consider this is a rectangle this is a rectangle you all know for a rectangle opposite sides are equal so this is length this is also length this is breadth this is also breadth okay so this is a rectangle so we are going to find the perimeter normally if you want to find the perimeter what you will do you will add the all sides measurement we will add the sides okay so perimeter of 
rectangle is length plus length plus breadth plus breadth. So this is the this is how you will do. Now the formula is here there is two length and here there is two breadth. Instead of writing L plus L, we are going to write two into L plus two into breadth. 2 into length plus 2 into breadth. So, there is 2L. So, instead of writing L plus L, I am writing 2L. 2 into L plus instead of writing B plus B, I am writing 2 into B. So, this is the formula for perimeter of rectangle. Perimeter of rectangle. So, this is a very important formula. Okay, this is one important formula. So, in order if at all you want to find the perimeter of rectangle, if there is any other shapes other than like, like this one or this one, any other shape. So, come consider this is one shape. Okay, this is one shape like this one shape is there. So, if like this shape what you will do? You can simply add all the sides you can write the answer. But for to find the perimeter of rectangle, we have a formula that is perimeter of rectangle is 2 into length plus 2 into breadth. So, this is the formula for perimeter of rectangle. So, with using this formula only, we can find the answer. Okay, so we will do one sum now. Okay, the length of the rectangle is 5 centimeter and its breadth is 2 centimeter find its perimeter find its perimeter so we are going to find the perimeter they have given the length as 5 centimeter and breadth as 2 centimeter okay so we'll draw one rectangle rectangle so, this two sides are length and this two sides are breadth. So, length what measurement they have given? 5 centimeter. So, 5 centimeter here also 5 centimeter. Breadth 2 centimeter, 2 centimeter. What we have to find? Find the perimeter. So, what is the formula for perimeter of rectangle? Perimeter of rectangle is 2 into length plus 2 into breadth. Okay, so here what is the value for length? 2 into 5. The length is 5 plus 2 into breadth is 2 centimeter. Okay, so 2 5s are 10 plus 2 2s are 4. So 10 plus 4 it is 14. They have written only centimeter everywhere. So the answer also will be in centimeter. So this is the answer for this particular sum. We have found out the perimeter of a rectangle. The length have, they have given, breadth also they have given for a rectangle and they have asked us to find the perimeter of the rectangle. So, we have used a formula perimeter of rectangle is 2 into length plus 2 into breadth. So, we have replaced L with 5 and B with 2 and we have multiplied and added and we got the answer as 14. So, this is the perimeter of a rectangle. This is the perimeter of rectangle okay children i think you have understood you have to memorize this formula okay in order if at all you want to find the perimeter of uh, some other shape simple say not rectangle or square some other shape means you can simply add it and you can find the answer for a perimeter of a rectangle you are going to use this formula and you are going to find the answer okay now we are going to see the formula for formula for finding perimeter of a square perimeter of a square perimeter of a square okay so you know this is a square for a square you know all sides are equal for a square all sides are equal so, okay so this is one side this is one side this is one side and this is one side four sides a square has four equal sides four equal sides so the perimeter perimeter of 
square is 4 times. Why 4 times? Because it is having 4 sides. 4 times the length of one side. What we are going to do? We are going to multiply one side value into 4. So, the perimeter of square is 4 into side. 4 into side. That is, we are going to multiply the value into side. For example, consider this is a square and one side value is 5. 5 centimeter. Now, how I will find the perimeter? So, perimeter of square is 4 into side. So, 4 into what is the value for one side? It is 5. So, 4 5s are 20 centimeter. So, this is the answer for this square. We have found out the perimeter of it. Okay. This is how you will find the perimeter of a square. You will use the formula 4 into side. 4 into side or 4 into length of side. Anything is okay. 4 into side or 4 in length of side. Okay. Anything you can do. Okay. This is how you will find the perimeter of a square. We have studied two formula. One is for perimeter of rectangle. Another one is perimeter of square. Okay. Now, we, are go we shall see one example. The length, length of one side of square is 7 centimeter. Find its perimeter. So, we are, they have given the one side of a square 7 centimeter. We are going to find the perimeter. How you will find the perimeter? So, this is a square and one side is 7 centimeter. Okay, one side is 7 centimeter. Okay, now we are going to find the perimeter of a square. Perimeter of. So, how to find the perimeter of a square? How we are going to find the perimeter of a square? We know the formula perimeter of square is 4 into length of side. 4 into length of side. So, 4 into length of one side is 7 centimeter. So, what is 4 into 7? It is 4 7 are 28. What they have given? Here yes, centimeter. So, here also centimeter. So, it is important to write this units. Centimeter means centimeter. Meter means meter. Everything you have to write. If at all you are not writing, the sum is wrong. I will put it wrong only. Okay. So, this is how you will find the perimeter of a square. The formula is 4 into length of side. Okay. So, one more example we shall see now. So, the question is how much wire will be needed to make a rectangle of length 6 cm and breadth 3 cm. Okay. So, how much wire is needed for a rectangle? So, first rectangle means we will draw one rectangle. Okay. And the length is 6 cm and the breadth is 3 cm. Okay. Now, we are going to find how much wire will be needed. How much wire theva in the rectangle form pandrathukku. Okay. So, we are going to find the perimeter. So, the perimeter of rectangle is equal to what is the formula 2 into length plus 2 into breadth ok so here what is the length 2 into length is 6 centimeter and what is the breadth 2 into 3 centimeter so what is 2 6 are 2 6 are 2 6 are plus 2 3 are what is 2 3s are? 
6 ok so 12 plus 6 12 plus 6 is 18 so here they have given centimeter so centimeter so the perimeter of rectangle so 18 centimeter wire is needed to frame this rectangle so 18 centimeter wire irundha nama vandu in the rectangle form pannala ok this is how you will find the perimeter of a closed figure for rectangle and for square you have formulas ok and for other closed figure we can use any that is we can add all the sides and you can find the answer for perimeter ok children please uh, learn the formulas thoroughly so that uh, when you are doing the sums it will be very useful, useful ok take care children thank you bye